Hey everybody, it's Lon Sivan with another unboxing, and today it is this new one I just bought from Amazon. This is the Zotac Z Box. This is their Pico P Series PC. It's an Apollo Lake. Unfortunately, only 32 gigabytes of storage, but they are billing this as uh, one of the smallest PCs ever made. I think it's probably in that category. So let's take a look and see what this looks like. And I want to thank a couple of viewers who pointed this out to me. Uh, so here is the manuals and whatnot. We'll take a look at this because I think there might be a driver disc in here. Uh, this is the PC itself, and it is very tiny. It is fanless, and I'm also curious to see exactly how well it's going to do on some of our uh, little benchmark tests. So it looks like it's got a little mounting bracket here on the back, but I'll take it off so you can see what it actually looks like. And oops, there we go. So this is the PC. And it is, um, it feels like it's got like a metal heat sink on the outside, kind of like those Azul PCs we looked at recently. You've got two USB-C ports here. These support display port as well. So you plug in one of your, uh, you know, uh, adapters here to get it out to a monitor. So we'll test that. I think you might be able to do dual displays on this, but if you do that, you have nothing else. But we'll try some docs out and stuff too and see how uh, that comes together. You do have an SD card slot here on the side to augment its onboard storage, and then it gets power through here. And you'll notice here, five volts, three amps. So not a lot of power coming into this. You'll wanna be careful about uh, what you plug into those USB ports without a uh, powered hub or something, just because it doesn't have a lot of power to play with here. So I don't think this is going to perform as well as some of the other Apollo Lake devices that we've tested that have more power going in, but we will see. And again, you can't upgrade this because this is the entire PC here, very similar to uh, some of those PCs on a stick. I do have a Apollo Lake PC on a stick coming soon as well. Here is the power adapter. Again, one of these uh, three amp, five volt adapters here. So that is that for plugging in the USB power. Kind of disappointing actually that they wouldn't um, include a uh, you know a true USB-C power source here because you could probably get more power out over those ports. Hey, this is interesting. They give you a dock in the box as well. Uh, this, by the way, was two hundred dollars in total, so uh, not a bad deal here to get this dock. And uh, this will plug into one of these ports, and you'll get HDMI out and two traditional USB ports. That was a surprise. That's pretty cool. Uh, this is the power cord. And then you have some power adapters depending on uh, which region of the world you are in. So let's see what's inside the envelope here and take a look. This looks like they've done a very nice job of giving you a PC that feels kind of complete here. And I wanted to see what this disc is. And uh, this is a full recovery disc for Windows 10 Home uh, with the OEM activation on here too. So this is nice to be able to have a disc to actually restore from. Of course, there's no <laughs> drive reader in here. It's actually smaller than the disc is, but you can plug one in via USB if you need to. So that's always a good thing to see that the manufacturer do that. And I would assume this probably would recover all the drivers and stuff as well. So this might be a very convenient way to get your computer back in shape. It's funny, we don't see these discs even with laptops these days, but we've got one on this little mini PC. Uh, two year warranty, that's nice to see, unless you're in Japan or India, and then it's only one year. Um, so that's that. Uh, they got some instructions here on how to recover from the Windows 10 uh, DVD. You have a nice user manual here and a quick start guide as well. So this is a very consumer friendly uh, little mini PC. I'm gonna be playing around with this and benchmarking it and all that good stuff. And then I will have a full review on my main channel, which you can find at lon.tv very shortly. But this looks pretty cool. I'm pretty excited to play around with this and uh, let me know what you think down in the comments below. More to come on lon.tv. Stay tuned. This channel is brought to you by the lon.tv supporters including Gold Level supporters of the Black Eyed and Blues Music Hour podcast, Chris Allegretta, and Kalyan Kumar. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.